Hello chess friends, how are you? Alpha Zero had back pieces last day, that's why he was afraid of me, but I don't afraid anyone because I am big fish, I am the ocean of chess and you and Alpha Zero are the fish of the ocean, I don't praise myself, I only speak the truth, so let's go, baby chicken Alpha Zero started with c4, I played Karo can defense, knight f3 d5 e3, knight f6 knight c3 bishop goes to g4 and we have h3, if you dare to take the knight, let me show you the variation. Then I will grab center with e5, pawn takes takes, white will play g4, a clear declaration that he wants to attack the king side, so e4 queen d1 knight c6 queen b6 and that's it, white have a nice queen position, that creates lot of pressure to black, g5 is coming, so, back to the position, I am super ultra ultimate max genius guy, so I moved back my bishop on h5, queen b3, queen b6, queens are seeing each other, but if you can the queen then black will get an open rook file, same as black. If black takes the queen then white will get the rook advantage, so in this position, alpha played g4, because he is a stockfish subscriber, a true stockfish subscriber always attack in kingside, white have a nice tactical plan to mix poison in black army's food, then move up the bishop to target it by opening up the file for the rook, clear the dark square diagonal to add pressure, bishop g6 g5 knight goes to e4, c takes d5 and if you take it, let me show you the variation. Then knight takes d5 will come to pressure black, after making queen exchanges bishop h4 will come to target the knight, so knight e5, f6 to target it so knight c7 check king d8 knight takes a8 pawn takes rook takes a7, white will up material and he will be totally winning, so back to the position, we have knight takes c3 queen takes c3, bishop e4 to make problems on light square diagonal, bishop e2 bishop takes d5 d3, this d3 move plan is to play e4 to kick out the bishop and then play bishop e3. So I take the knight with my bishop, bishop takes f3, alpha have bishop pair and I have inactive pieces, so I move my knight to d7, e6 and long castle is my next moves, bishop d2 by alpha, e6 and he played b4, this move is clear that he don't want to let me castle in queenside, he want to push his army in queenside, so bishop d6, a4, I played castle in short side, but he have these guys to attack me, so he did it, this dark square diagonal is controlled by black. It is an open challenge for me to overcome alpha zero's attacks, re-rotate the bishop to attack him in kingside, ok queen back to d8, a5, queen e7 bishop g2 e5 king to e2, this king will stay in there, donkey bon cloud, alpha have a nice tactic to break my pawn structure and its strategy. So I played rook to c8 rook c1, king h8, this king move plan is to play h5, after takes and knight takes, black will get the f-file, strike the queen pawn structure to attack him in his weak point. And the queen is always ready to come there with a check. White have to play correctly because his king is not castled, and he needs some extra security, alpha played queen b3 rook d8, f5 is coming so rook to g1, putting the tanks in front of the king, I played f6, alpha warns me with e4, how dare alpha warn me, I will eat you in my dinner, alpha said, I have a nasty checkmating sequences with my bishop and rook to destroy you, I said, go ahead, do whatever you can do, after takes, rook takes e7 is coming, if you are a human and play a natural move for example c5. The idea is to do pawn exchange and involve the knight to target the queen, then alpha will sacrifice the rook, this square is covered so you have to take the rook, then pawn check will come, the king have no square to run so king takes g6, bishop f3 check, if king f6 happen then play bishop g5 to win the queen, so if you plan king h7 then rook h1 check, king can't retreat on there so king g6 bishop h5 king f6 rook g1, bishop g5 is coming to checkmate you, black will be helpless. He can't do anything to save his life, Black will lose his queen and then queen h6 will come to checkmate you, game will be over so back to the position, I played g6 to block the position, bishop h3, alpha want to double up his rooks on this file, so I played rook f7, further plan is to double up my rooks to attack him, rook c1 and alpha can play bishop e6 target the rook and seize the light square diagonal, a6 bishop e6 rook g7 bishop c4, and after some more moves later. White targets to the pawn with the rook, c5 queen a2 pawn takes takes, 
if you dare to take the pawn, let me show you the variation, then rook check will come, knight blocks rook c1 rook b8, takes takes takes, and white is totally winning because his pieces are mostly active, black pieces are very much passive and black have weak king and weak pawns. Few moves later we will see rook c6 to target these pieces with the rook and queen, so knight c7 to target the queen. Queen here knight e8 to protect the bishop, rook c8 and that's it, black is out of move, no matter what black will play he will lose the game, I hope inferior humans can solve this position, queen d7 then alpha will sacrifice the queen on d6, after takes takes here takes and checkmate, game will be over, so, back to the position, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, then guys, what are you doing, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to reach me 100k. Now enjoy the game with my beautiful piano music. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.